Hi, this is Dennis Kelderman with Cessna Structures. And today I'd like to talk about cutting fiberglass or any composite cloth for that matter using the dry method. The reason um, it's, I'm, I'm bringing this video to you is if, if you're new to uh, the composite world, when you go to um, mark and cut fiberglass, it can be a little frustrating because fiberglass uh, cloth has no, or any composite cloth has, has it doesn't have any rigidity to it, so it's very difficult to cut with a scissors. The other thing is it's difficult to uh, mark a line or a circle, whatever the pattern of the, the repair ply that you're making, it's difficult to, to place that on the fiberglass. It doesn't want to mark well. And so today what I want to show you is, is a technique that I'm calling the dry method, in which we take uh, paper that is, you might call this uh, like butcher's paper, uh, we use this uh, here at the service center for masking off airplanes in, in the paint booth. And I make it in somewhat of a, a sandwich affair here to where I've got the, uh, the size of the patch already, uh, the repair ply already uh, lined out. And what, what this technique does is one, it gives me the exact size of repair ply that I want, and two, what happens is when the scissors uh, cuts through the paper, it creates a clamping effect that secures the, the ply, the fiberglass, in place, keeping it from moving. And so it's important that while you do this, you're constantly securing with your, your hand and thumb in this situation on the other side of the paper to keep make sure that nothing moves. So let's give it a try. Okay, turned out fairly well. Here's our repair ply, and now we're ready to install it on our composite patch. Thank you. I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any composite questions of any kind, we can help you out here at Team Structures. Give us a call at 316-517-6061, or send us an email at csstructures at Thanks.